Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle. I'm here with a G1 Greppel. Yes, the guy who wanted to put together a solar power tower, which the Decepticons decided to uh, incorporate him and Hoist into the design and steal the energy for themselves. Though, this is actually, again, a counterfeit. This is not a real 100% G1 transformer. It does say on the back, copyright, I think it says 1985. Yes, copyright 1985, Hasbro Bradley, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, but this is not real. Well, it's real as in it's physically here, but you know what I mean. But I'm gonna break this out, go through them, and see how this grapple stacks up to an original. Though I'll have to rely on my memory. But check out the quality and see if this would be a great alternative to spending a lot of money on a G1 for your collection, and he'll fill in that void. And build you a solar power tower. Be right back. Now, a lot of times I do feel bad and I feel bad with this because it's a beautiful box. I mean, just look at that. It's got the artwork from the Series 2 on the back with Dinobots and Jetfire and Insecticons and Shockwave. And it's got the tech spec and the robot points, which I wonder if I send them into Hasbro if they'll actually accept them. I don't think they do that anymore. But I feel bad about opening it just because it's such a nice looking box. But I do need to open it for you guys, and because it'll fit much better on the shelf in robot form. There he is in the package in plastic encased. This is not plastic free packaging. And there are his weapons, his missiles, his fists, his gun, his instructions, and I imagine sticker. So we're gonna take these out. Now, as I say with all of these counterfeits, please do not misrepresent them to someone and say this is just a really good shape actual real G1, because that's just not right. And if you were to sell them in the box, I think the sprues might be a little bit different. There are some indicators. For instance, the factory stickers, which are included, are normally applied in a real one. It does have the sticker sheet. It also usually has the rub sign on it, but there is the rub sign. So it is not applied. So that is an indicator. So if you were to try to sell this as a genuine G1 and they opened it up and found this, they would be a little perturbed. I mean, they couldn't tell by the instructions, but there are indications. So let us free him from this plastic bubble. Now, even though this is a counterfeit reissue and all that, I do like to save the boxes because they're cool. However, this <laughs> packaging is not coming apart very easily. So there we go. All right, so there he is. Ooh, nice rubber wheels. The uh, hook is here, it extends. Very nice. I could put the stickers on it right now, but I'm not going to. I am gonna fold this so I don't hurt myself. Or Sky if she comes by. But I will put on these stickers later. I just wanna show you this particular toy and we'll go through quality. The plastic feels genuine. It feels just like a G1. The arms coming out of the package are not plugged in, but there that's fixed. So I said nice rubber wheels. I know that there are some G1 toys, some of which had rubber wheels, some of which had plastic, some of which had both. Now, something just fell off, this little piece here, which pops back on apparently. There we go, nice and sturdy on there. So other than that little piece falling off, feels good. It's got the uh, little caution lights in the front there. So overall, it's a very good counterfeit of grapple. I hope I didn't call them hoist. They stick together. It's okay, Grapple, but it's my solar power tower dream. So I can see his head in there. Normally when I transform him, I have the head a little more hidden. This part comes out to really stick nowhere, or you can stick it there if you wanna elevate the crane. And it rolls very well, much better than a Siege, most of the Siege line. It looks like the wheels were put on hurriedly, but you can adjust those, so minor things but it rolls quite nicely, you know, speeds down the road on an emergency construction gig. So very nice truck. It's got those little stabilizer things that they don't move. They never move. They were just stuck there for the G1. Some of the newer ones actually, like the Masterpiece one probably moves just like the uh, Masterpiece Inferno. Accessories, two fists and the gun and the missiles. Now in the show, one of these missiles was in his hand or was replacing a hand. So we're gonna go with that configuration. And we have the fists. I'm gonna take the left fist and let's put the gun into it. Fits very nicely, not too tight. Went in smoothly, but not too loose. So good signs overall. 
and we've got the stickers, which again, we'll put on later. We'll transform him, very simple transformation. He is a G1, so pop those out, bring his shoulders forward. Now, obviously he shares a lot in common with Inferno, and you can flip his cab forward and there's a little seat in here for a Diaclone driver if you wanted to put one of those in there. So there he is. We will put left fist in. Now stays in fine, but if you press the button, it doesn't really shoot out to kind of, there's a little spring action in there, but if you want this to emulate a Hasbro, then certainly we can also put in his missile, which again, the trigger doesn't shoot far. And if you put it in and it falls out, just push forward on the trigger a little bit and it should stay in place or not. Sometimes twisting it. This is a common problem even with the G1, just because they did not like these missile launcher hands kind of like shooting things out. It's kind of what they're designed to do. And so staying there is kind of a pain. Very shiny, looks very nice. With the fists, you can shoot them out like Trans RZ. But here he is from all his angles. You can see the crane down the back. The head, of course, does not turn. The missile's still coming out. But as far as posability, stay. Um, the feet can kind of wiggle. We're gonna put this aside for now because it keeps popping out. But of course, there's no real movement in the legs. No bend at the knee, no twist at the waist. The arms can move, they're a little stiff, but they can go all the way around. Stiff is much better than loose. No dirty minds out there, all right? And that's pretty much the articulation you're gonna get on a G1. But he looks very good. I mean, obviously he's not stickered up yet, but he will be. And you can kind of wiggle the legs a little bit. But if you do want a G1 grapple to put in your collection and you want it to be in really good shape and not have to pay a ton of money for an actual G1, I believe they did have some reissues, but even the reissues were kind of expensive at the time. This one cost me $13 million. No, it didn't cost me $13 million. I got this for about $41. I actually had some coupons, so it came down to like 38 you know, with the tax and everything. But for the price, this is a great alternative to buying somebody's dirty old grapple that they've had stuck in their basement that could be broken, missing pieces. It's got all the accessories. It's got the stickers that you can put on with precision or, you know, not up to you. Or you can do it like I do it. But a very nice figure. I think it's worth it for the price. Quality seems there. Again, the knee popped off, but I popped it right back on and it does not feel like it's gonna come off again. Maybe if I forced it, you know. The launchers are just like the G1 launchers. It will pop out. So a little twisting in there and playing with the trigger and it will stay. And if you lose one, you got two more. Or you can use the fists instead and you can decode his tech spec. Or just look at the world through rose colored plastic. So a cool figure, definitely recommend it. I will put a link down in the description so you can get this guy. I'll put both to AliExpress, which I have not had any issues. Occasionally they have canceled an order, but then they refunded me. And there was something that showed up damaged and I got a refund like right away. So it is a conglomeration of different sellers and some are a little bit better than others. But for the most part, I think AliExpress keeps them all online. So but I'll also put links to eBay in case you prefer to go through there because some people like the eBay protection. But while you're mulling this guy over, you can actually check out over here. We have another version of Grapple versus another version of Grapple. We have the War for Cybertron versus the Universe Mold. And those are also very cool toys. He will be joining them on the shelf. And of course, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that wonderful stuff. We'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.